The world has changed after AMD announced first desktop CPUs on TCMC's 7 nanometer lithography. It is clear that for some time AMD chips will have a lead in a raw CPU performance because of their chiplet design a new competitive architecture that are capable to beat Intel in almost all creative workflows. Following the disappointing Intel i9-9900K and X releases in price department for most of the creative souls, the Ryzen 7 3700X and Ryzen 7 3800X are very good deals for the money and the performance. Uh, these both CPUs are 8 cores on a single die. I mean the cores are on single die and this is very important for the latency because if you would want to go for more than 8 cores let's say 12 or 16 that they will afford, they will present on the mainstream platform there is a significant um, punishment for communication between chiplets you have seen the same thing in Threadripper when uh, suddenly if you're creating music on small buffer sizes you get a significant uh, punishment uh, the underruns start uh, coming up sooner and then when you start to play some piano or something do 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 record you see you you can hear the popping sound straight away which is of course something that you would not want to do and here if we look at the benchmarks of uh, intel top cpus current gen and AMD ones, you can see that there is some interesting stuff going on. When uh, suddenly Intel CPUs drastically outperform uh, at certain point AMD CPUs. It's that uh, 12 core CPU. AMD 3900X versus let's say 9940X from Intel. You see a huge gap. One thing that is interesting is in these kind of benchmarks there is something that doesn't change. Let's say the operating system and their background tasks and let's say there is a, a limiter or something on the master bus on this um, let's say door and that would force all the numbers that are calculated on single cores to be uh, combined at some point. And then if, if cores are spread around different chips, it will simply create uh, underruns. So right now it looks like uh, 3700X actually for the money is the best CPU because uh, the frequency difference is very small be between 3800X. And actually AMD CPUs are not that good our clockers as we have found out uh, from reviews and from sellers who sell binned CPUs with a little bit higher frequency. So it's more that uh, you should check out whether your CPU will even reach the advertised boost clocks because it tends to clock lower quite often. And then if you could just overclock it in a way that it would fluctuate a little bit less and you know get decent cooling and decent VRMs on your uh, motherboard that would definitely increase the performance and RAM their speed and their memory timings are also very important and that will give large advantage and of course there is benefits on having an AMD platform so overall price of owning AMD will actually yield better performance and we also know that Intel has problems with bringing 10 nanometer chips to their market. We will receive 10 core CPUs after some time called Comet Lake and their performance will be roughly the same. And it's only in 2021 that when we will really see the next generation Intel CPUs with their uh, modular core design and their, their 3D stacking and very interesting new technology. So even I am right now looking into buying, let's say that AMD 3700X. And after that, upgrading the next year to the next AMD CPU and I will have the advantage of 
not needing to change uh, my motherboard because AMD will support AM4 socket till 2020, definitely.